Hello Internet, it is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to the channel, part 46. So after two thrilling back-to-back -back episodes of Cancelled, we now return to normalcy. And by normalcy, I mean there is no news. <laughs> okay, that's a lie. There is some news, it's just that it's nowhere near as significant as the previous two episodes, you know. Nothing big got delayed again. And nothing was put on streaming. So those two things did not happen. What did happen was that two movies were just added onto the calendar. One for this year and the other for next year. And the third movie has guaranteed it will keep its current release date. So that means we have a positive episode, ladies and gentlemen. We obviously don't see too many of these on the Cancelled series for obvious reasons. Last one I did was what part 40 and that was because two movies were just added onto the calendar so and the same thing happened here so you better cherish this because i i guarantee you the next episode we're gonna go right back to the negative zone so enjoy it while it lasts enjoy the positivity while it lasts all right so let's talk about the first movie the unholy this uh, happened two days ago. Sony, I guess they they had the unholy just lying around. And they were like, all right, theaters are opening up again. You know, New York City's opened up again. There's rumors LA's going to open up again. So we need to find something that's cheap and can make us a little bit of a profit. And so they looked through their catalog, they found the Unholy, and they were like, brilliant, we'll use that. We're going to release it on April 2nd, which will be Easter, Easter weekend. Yeah, Sony decided to release a movie called The Unholy on Easter weekend. Boy, the irony. <laughs> it, it makes me laugh a little bit. So yeah, they decided to date The Unholy Literally, like, less than a month before it comes out. Like, it has less, of a, less than a month to start its marketing. Which is, usually it takes, like, you need at least two, three, sometimes six months to market something. Although, if, if any of you remember this, I highly, highly doubt it. But there was this movie called The Empty Man that came out last year, last October. That movie had one week. Now one month, one week of advertising. It had a trailer, and then it came out the next week. So it's it's nowhere near as bad as that, but still, like, come on now. So this kind of puts a bit of a wrench into my plans, because I thought I would only be talking about Godzilla vs. Kong Easter weekend, Wednesday, the 31st. That's what I thought I was going to be talking about. That's... But apparently not. Sony, they wanted to fight. They wanted to fight Godzilla vs. Kong with some counter-programming. You know, the unholy. And that's exactly what they did. So. Yay, I guess. There's more movies to talk about. <laughs> uh, I mean, actually, now that I think about it, this is actually good timing. Because LA theaters are going to be reopening literally this weekend. Like this very weekend. So this is actually good timing. Because for the longest time, the reason why so many movies got delayed so much was because New York City and LA were not open. All their theaters were shuttered. But now that that's changed, it means that more movies could potentially be pushed up as a result. I mean, look what, look what happened to A Quiet Place Part 2 and Peter Rabbit 2. So... Yeah, but enough about the unholy. We're gonna talk about now. It's time, God, I cannot talk today. Now it's time to talk about Creed, the three. So Creed three, uh, is will be coming out Thanksgiving twenty twenty two. Is there an official? When is Thanksgiving next year? I don't even remember. Uh, November twenty third. Okay. I mean, this doesn't surprise me. I don't think anyone's surprised that a third Creed movie was happening. I mean, the first Creed, 
you know, it's a bit of a weird project. It's basically like this pseudo reboot, like this soft reboot of Rocky. But instead of, you know, Rocky, we have Apollo Creed's son. And the thing is, Michael B. Jordan, like a couple months, a couple months before the first Creed, he had the deal with Fan Stick, the type of movie that is a career killer. But thankfully, Creed saved him. It saved him from complete oblivion. Then because of Creed, he got his Black Panther gig as Killmonger. And then a couple years after Creed, there was Creed 2, which did a lot better financially than the first one. So naturally, a third movie was going to happen. And now it is happening. But Michael Jordan... Michael Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. I got a different... God... Why can't I talk? <laughs> I have to, you know, separate the two. So he's now going to be the director of Creed 3. <laughs> so he's basically pulling a Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> uh, because Sylvester Stallone, he directed, uh, what was it? Rocky Balboa. That was 2006. The, the movie before Creed. And it worked out pretty well. I mean... It was a nice uh, rebound from the disaster that was Rocky V. So there's that. So uh, yeah. 2022 has a new movie. I mean, I don't know if I'll... I'm super hyped about this. I mean, my top two antip- anticipated movies for next year are The Batman and Sonic Movie 2. But I haven't checked the calendar for 2022 all that much. So I might need to... Actually, I'll probably look at it again at the end of the video when we go over all the movies that could be delayed again. And now, the final one. Black Widow. Black Widow, Black Widow, Black Widow. The 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 movie I talked about on my second episode of Cancelled. The most successful Cancelled episode of all time. We might as well talk about it again. So, what's going on? Well, Disney boss Bob Chepik, I don't know how you say his name, uh, he has pretty much confirmed again that Black Widow will be keeping its May 7th release date. A lot of people thought, you know, since things aren't exactly (laughs) hunky-dory, it would get delayed again, maybe to like July or something. I thought it would get delayed to July. Or a lot of people, including me, thought it would just go get the Disney Plus Premium Access treatment. Like what happened to Raya last weekend. But apparently that's not happening. He has not... Uh, the CEO, Bob Chepik, he has not said it will have a Disney Plus release of any kind at the moment. As we all know, that can change very, very quick. My guess is that... He doesn't want to do the whole theater Disney Plus premium access thing again. Because with Raya, it didn't work out the greatest. So, he I guess he doesn't want to repeat the same mistake twice. But still, like... I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to keep that release date. I mean, we're like less than two months away. So, there's a chance it can keep it. But still, I mean... Sure... Look, New York City theaters are open. LA theaters will be open very, very, very soon. But the problem is that a lot of the overseas markets, they're not open. The thing is, Black Widow is a movie that could make a billion dollars. Like, it would be guaranteed to make a billion dollars in a non-pandemic world. But because we are in a pandemic world... That's not going to happen. It just makes things very complicated. So I don't know what's going to happen to Black Widow. But at this point in time, it's keeping that May 7th release date. So that's all we know. But I guess I can give you all an update if anything changes. I mean, yeah. So yeah, that's it. (laughs) Not much else to say. So, yeah, I know, not very exciting, but there's not much I can do about that. 
And, you know, now that LA theaters are, you know, opening up again, this could mean the potential end or at least the slowdown for the canceled series because because I think we've reached a point where not a whole lot of movies are going to be delayed, maybe only the high high budget movies, but everything else should just stick to where it is. So I guess let's look at the calendar, see what could change? Uh, nobody, Godzilla vs. Kong, on Holy, those should stay without a doubt. Uh, Voyagers, Mortal Kombat, Asset, Black Widow, mm. Peter Rabbit 2, that's going to stay. I don't know about Free Guy or Spiral. They haven't said anything about those. You might see them in another cancelled episode, maybe. Corella, Quiet Place 2, Conjuring 3, Spirit Untamed. In the Heights, Luca, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, that's going. That is going. It's inevitable. It will leave. And if it leads, leads, if it leaves, then what will happen? Well, it could theoretically take an August release date, maybe, or maybe the September release date, something like that. It could. I mean, I don't know. If it will, but there's a decent chance. All I know is that it's going to move. Because there's no way in hell we're going to see Fast and Furious 9 versus Venom 2 clashing. We're not going to see that. That's just... that's That just wouldn't make much sense. That's cannibalization. They share the same audience. It wouldn't work. July. Top Gun Maverick. Don't know. Shang-Chi. Don't know. Uh Tomorrow War, that I think that's still Amazon. Uh, Jungle Cruise, don't know. <laughs> Candyman, mm, don't know. Blah, blah, blah. Infinite, that got moved there. Moved to September 24th very recently. No Time to Die should stay. It has to. It's been delayed too many times. Uh... I think the rest of 2021 looks stable enough. At least I think. It looks relatively stable. Uh, okay, 2022. Uh, don't see anything. Well, there's the 355. I know there was a couple months ago someone said, you didn't talk about how that got delayed. Well... One, I really didn't care. Two, it was like the only piece of news at that time, so there wasn't much for me to talk about. Yeah, I think the rest of 2022. Oh, yeah, you got the Batman. I'm definitely watching that, no doubt. I will watch that. There's Doctor Strange 2. There's Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I will be there opening night, guaranteed. Thor 4, or Thor Love and Thunder... DC Super Pets. Why? <laughs> John Wick 4. Hell yeah, I'll be there. Jurassic World Dominion. I will watch it just to see how stupid it is. Lightyear. Ugh. Ugh. Minions 2. Hell no. Black w Black Panther 2. I don't know how they're going to do that. Fantastic Beasts 3. No. Um, Indiana Jones 5. No. Uh, sh wait. Shrek 5. Oh, wait. I don't think it's confirmed. I think it might just be a placeholder. But if Shrek 5 is coming out September 23rd, I will be there the second <laughs> it's in theaters. Mark my words. Spider-Verse uh, Spider 2. Probably going to watch that. Flash. Maybe. Mission Impossible 8. And Captain Marvel 2. I'll probably watch it just to laugh at it. <laughs> Uh, Aquaman 2, if Amber Heard's in that movie, I refuse to watch it. It's that simple. Uh, Avatar 2, uh, why? Why do we need Avatar 2? I don't, no one wants it. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for next year. Like, next year is, is not very, it's not like, you know, filled, obviously, I mean... <laughs> Things will probably still be a tad bit wonky in 2022, but it'll be a whole lot better than 2021, and it sure as hell will be a whole lot better than 2020. 
So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications, share the whole drill. Uh, you want to check out more canceled episodes. I got playlists on the homepage, all previous episodes where I talk about all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't for various, well, very obvious reasons. So you want to check out any of those episodes just to see what's happening to all the movies you wanted to see. Uh, you can go watch those. Okay, box office predictions. Uh, I am planning on maybe Friday to start my summer prediction videos early. And I will start with Black Widow and then I'll just go through the whole summer season, you know, from May 7th through September 3rd. That will probably take me a good two months to do all those videos. And I'm probably going to have to delete some of those videos. So, uh, yeah, hopefully these movies get canceled. Some of these movies get delayed before I have to talk about them. That way I don't have to delete the video. <laughs> It'll just make my job easier. So I guess you can look forward to those. But then when it comes to normal predictions... I won't be talking about anything until March 26th with nobody and then Godzilla vs. Kong and then a Holy, then Voyagers and then Mortal Kombat. So yeah, that'll be happening very soon. But for this dead period of March 12th and March 19th, those whole two weeks, I'll be starting my early summer predictions. So look forward to those videos. But if you want to check out, check out any of my past predictions from 2019 2020 even 2021 uh you can go right ahead there's also the uh the box office recaps i go over the box office results for any particular month recently i've been doing double recaps but because the uh, november uh november february march and april are so bleak when it comes to movies I might as well group all three together <laughs> just to make, you know, just uh, lengthen it out a bit. So for the first time ever in early May, you will be seeing a triple recap of February, March, and April. So look forward to that. But if you want to check out any of my past recap videos, go right ahead. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.